If you're excited and interested about microbiology, then the next two days are going to be really good for you. So microbiologists, we deal with bacteria, we also look at fungi as well, and we look at viruses and other parasites and protozoans and things. In fact, there are more bacteria in your gut right now than there are human cells in your body. So I want you to pick about in between your teeth and get me some plaque on the end of that. That's all you're going to do. I'm going to need more than that. Bacteria can grow incredibly quickly. Here we go. So Jordan's now got his superbug on his hands. Okay, and then you put your hands to your mouth. The superbug gets into the second person. Go back to the UV box and take a look at where the bacteria are on your hands. Now all your hands are basically full of bacteria. If you can wash your hands properly, you can prevent a whole range of infections. Rub their palm, palm to palm, in between the fingers, okay? Okay, so you wash your thumbs. And the final stage is the very tips of your fingers. Oh, look how clean they are now. You know that's wet, okay, with sterile water. And then what we do is we rub it over the keys on the foam, like this. And what we do is we take our agar plate like this, and we gently rub it as though we're colouring in the agar plate with our swab. Dab the four fingers onto the agar, just gently, okay? Write your name on it and where you've been, and I will incubate this for you and grow it, and tomorrow you'll be able to see what was growing on this foam. Most dirty like places like to pick up the bacteria and the bacteria are like, going to spread. We brought a special electric car from the university, so if you want to go and have a swab of that as well, just swabbing the boot tent, the steering wheel. We talk about sexually transmitted infections, STIs as I'll call them from now on. So you may have a relationship with a partner and contract an STI and not know you've got it. So if I put a few drops of iodine into your sample and it goes blue, then you're infected. STIs are very, very easily preventable. Abstinence is the only sure way not to catch an STI. Perhaps a more acceptable way is to use a condom during sexual activity. It's not rocket science, is it? Dr. Anthony infected me and he infected four of you as well. You went on and then you infected other people. On here, these bacteria here are organisms that have grown overnight and they've grown to such numbers that we can actually see them, so they're all clumped together. That is on my phone, I can't believe that happened. I thought my phone was bigger than that. That there is called hemolysis. But what is important is, is that you're actually reducing the number of bacteria. And can you see before washing, after washing, there's still some, but they've certainly gone down. I do clean it, but I don't clean it that often. I need to wash my hands before I um, touch my phone. And then here, they're all the same type, and they're far less of them, so that's really good. 